Hello everyone, this is just a quick uh, follow-up video. I uh, just briefly mentioned the, the ore processing bit that I've got, so I just wanted to show you how that worked. So what happens is, is everything comes into this chest as are shown in the last uh, video, um, and the ores get sorted by this one. So you can see copper goes to orange, iron, tin, silver and gold. Probably some more I'll add later as well. But uh, that's just the ones for now. So it goes down here, and as you saw, it was colour coded. There's a bit of a gap here for some reason. Um, so the gold goes to red, another one goes to yellow, blue, pink, and orange. So I'll show you the, uh, the gold one, um, or this one, the silver one. So it goes first of all into a macerator. If you, if you don't know what those are, they just basically turn. Um, a single block of ore, like gold or whatever, into two piles of it, so you end up like getting twice as much um, rather than just smelt it straight away, so you get twice as much uh, gold. Um, when that's cooked, or macerated in this case, it goes down the tubing into a furnace. This one's an electric furnace uh, from Industrial Craft, so that gets furnished or smelted. Uh, these are just uh, receiving a pulse <laughs> that I've got set up underground instead of setting a, a timer just here which I find annoying because it clicks all the time it, it's uh, receiving a signal from a timer underground so I don't have to hear it um, it's on channel 60 that's just to remind me it's sending a pulse every minute so every minute it'll just pull the stuff out there you go there's just one it'll pull the stuff out that's cooked and send all the ones, you can see some there, that's uh, not sure, tin I think, yeah tin so that goes along here and then ends up again like everything else loaded onto the train and sent to the uh, the sorting area incidentally all the uh, like the rubbish like uh, dirt and cobblestone things like that, I don't really need to save those and store those to, to build anything um, so I can just use um, the equivalency exchange so what happens there, you can see some dirt and some cobblestone going to location that is green which is this one over here this is the uh, condenser so it's condensing everything down into red matter, there goes some dirt and some cobblestone um, I'm not sure, I think red matter is the most highest EMC uh, I haven't found anything that's, that's denser yet I don't know, I have to play around. Still playing around with this, it's, it's still a lot to learn. <laughs> um, I've got one of everything in that chest there, so I, if I need some, say, if, if I need a load of cobblestone, you can see one there, and just put one in there, make a whole ton of cobblestone in a few seconds. Um, so that's, that's handy. And over here, some more computer craft. This is the biggest screen you can make in uh, computer craft. I think it's 8 by 6 I think. Um, and you can change the font up to, to match as well. So it's just a, a little... Oh, here comes the train. <laughs> Alarm goes off just in case you're standing on the track. So that's just gone to offload all the, the stuff that's come in. It'll be back in a few seconds. Uh, this is a computer uh, craft computer. Um, got, got a little program on it. Um, if you can see at the back, got this probe thing. Can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, that receives information from a, a remote probe somewhere. So you normally you connect it up to a machine or something. I've got this one just just standing here because all it needs to do is detect what the weather is and what time it is. Uh, the time's done sort of without the probe anyway, so you don't need that. But the weather comes from that probe, and it just detects what what the weather's doing, whether it's clear skies, thunder, or rain, and then displays it on the screen and what what time it is. Because I'm deep underground here, so I've got no idea what the time is or what the weather's like upstairs. So it's, it just comes in handy that is. I put that on pace spin as well if you want to have a go. But remember, you do need to set it up with the uh, the probe thingy at the back with the right key. It's a bit complicated that you might need to read the wiki and obviously need need a probe somewhere to, to actually send the weather data back. So you might need to fiddle around with the code a bit. It's it's 
just set up for my particular setup. Oh, lots of Nikolite coming in. 